Put the small gear on this. All right, tubes. We're uh, Mike is working on a distributor right now. Yep. You say, Mike. How you doing? Right. Guess who else is here? Hey, tubes. All right. Yeah, what he's doing, he just milled. Let me see that. Right. Milled a bushing because it's going to be. We're going to have to put a different gear on there. But uh, he's got a precision hole on the side there. I don't think you guys have seen this yet. This is our little distributor that we're going to use. A couple of you guys have been asking about what kind of ignition system. I think this is out of a 1927 uh, Chevy. So uh, we got to uh, modify the gear. Okay, go ahead, Mike. Okay. Oh, Here's the other gear. Yeah, that's your original one. Here's the original gear. We won't be we'll, using that. We won't be using that. We got to put our own in. Yep. And to hold it on, we got to put a hole in here. Go ahead, Mike. Mm. Using our little mill again, but using it as a drill. Mike loves this little machine. Yeah. Look at him, look at him with his tiny, his big hand on the tiny little yep. control there. Look at it go through there, huh? Like butter. Yeah. Hmm. Hope we have enough travel for this. Huh. We didn't think of that. I don't think we are. Huh. It's gonna be close. I think you got it. Oh. Just barely. No. No. I gotta uh, scroll the head down a little bit. There we go. We got it now. All right, maybe we'll show you it uh, after he puts it together. All right. All right. All right, Tubes. While Mike is working on his distributor here, I'll be working on this carburetor. You guys haven't seen this, and you're, a couple of you have been asking what are you going to use for a carb. But uh, you see the flange there? Right now I'm making another flange to meet up on our manifold. But uh, why don't you explain this carb to him? I guess it's pretty unique. We stumbled on this at a, at a flea market. Because we, we wanted a, a downdraft, and we had a tough time finding one, so we found this one. Show them exactly what it does, Mike. All right, well, it's, it's pretty much universal. Here's the intake, and this is where it bolts to the manifold, but that flange can be rotated any which way you want, and you just clamp it with this little clamp here, this band clamp, anywhere you want, and the same thing with the float bolt. It's just a banjo bolt, and it doesn't matter. Whichever way you wanted it, you can keep the bolt level, have your intake any way you wanted. Yeah. You can put it on slick. an angle if right. you want. Yeah, any, any, really, anyway. Yeah. Uh, you know, just as long as it wasn't uh, this way, you know, as long as you kept the bowl level. Right. So it's nice. It's updraft, downdraft, side draft, any way you wanted it. And it looks uh, it looks pretty cruddy and everything, but actually, open it up, Mike, show me. Uh, it's not too bad. The inside um, well, is pretty. You can see there's a jet right here. Yeah, show me what a jet is. It, it, it's, it's like nobody ever touches with a screwdriver. Yeah. Let me zoom in a little slower. You know, I mean, the insides of this thing are perfect. We just have to clean it up and sandblast it a little bit. And, mm -hmm. and that's what we'll be using for our carburetor. So, right now what I'm doing is, uh, show them the flange, Mike. Put the flange on top here. Yeah, I, start, I started without you guys. Sometimes we, we work and we, we forget to grab the camera. You know, that's why a lot of you guys are saying, oh, we want to see this, we want to see that. But we get so hung up in what we're doing. You know, the camera's the last thing on our mind, so if we leave some stuff out, you'll know why. Mike's got some bushings up here. I don't even know what he's doing. Don't so, worry about uh, it. I'll tell I, you. I don't worry. I know it'll be right, so I don't have to worry. That's right. All right. Let's, uh, let me get onto that flange. All right. Got my flange rough cut here. Now I just got to straighten it up on the disc sander over there. Got to make this one look nice because this is going to be this is going to be showing up at. Uh, up near the carburetor. Let's see what Mike is doing. What you doing, Mike? A little I milling? Am, yeah, doing some milling for the uh, distributor. You're making quite a mess here, buddy. Yeah. Yeah, milling. It's got to be done. Milling does that. What are you doing? Measuring to see how thick you got to make that block? Yeah, just to just to see what it needs. Just to get a rough idea of what it really needs mm. to be. I don't want to get too crazy with it. 
It's like about one and three eighths, hmm. still, which is wow. fine. Well, that's right now we're at about one and a half, so three eighths. Yeah, a little thicker than it was. Got to knock off a little bit. Yeah. All right. What's that going to be? That's going to be a pinch block to hold it into the, the block. Right. Yeah. You're right. Eventually, when this is done, the, I'll cut a slit in here and send a bolt through it, and that'll so we can rotate the distributor right. just for All timing. Right. You know. All right. That's cool. All right. All right. Back to work, buddy. Nice little machine you got there, Mike. Yep. Perfect for this kind of stuff. It is. Small stuff. It does pretty well. I mean, it's taking a good cut there. Yeah. Yeah, it's going through there like butter. It is only aluminum, though, but oh, look, it's singing. It's happy. <laughs> How much you taking off? How many mil? How many hundreds? Uh, I think about thirty thousand. Some taking off. Maybe maybe forty thousand. Uh, you keep making that, buddy. All right. You're just about finished on that, huh, Mike? Yeah, just about. What are you doing now? I am cutting a notch. Slot. Well, yeah, mm. a notch or a slot because the distributor is going to be held in here and there's going to be a bolt running through here, so it's going to pinch it in place. Right. So, just doing a final pass on that. That's going to be pretty nice. Before we uh, mock it up. It's going to be pretty nice. It's a shame that we'll be able to see it. Mm. It's behind a shroud. It's all right. We'll know it's there. That's it. Me and you know. Okay. Well, Mike finishes up that. I finished up the flange on the the Delordo here. And if I do say so myself, it was pretty good, huh, buddy? It does look pretty good. It's almost perfect. Almost? Mm-hmm. If I put a brake stamp on that, you wouldn't know it was uh, it was homemade. Oh, huh. I think you're right. You gotta put a Delorto stamp on <laughs> yeah, it. Yeah, that's right. Let's see it. Sometime today, kid. Yeah, I'd say it looks pretty good. There we go, yeah. I yep. like it. I like it. Okay. Not bad. Alright, I don't know how uh, how much uh, time we got on this video, so. Maybe we'll see, maybe we won't. If not, say goodbye, guys. Take it easy. See you, Tubes. Alright, Tubes. Later.